today, there's around 800,000 people on earth older than 100 years old. Going all the way back to 1950 and just 1950, 33,000. From 33,000 to over 800,000 people on earth are over than over 100 years old. That's amazing. Um, and modern academics will be very quick to thank sunscreen, the Joker brand product. <laughs> um, they'll say, yeah, well, you know, th thanks. Thanks for the, the push on sunscreen. People are, people look way younger. They're living longer. Thank you so much to modern medicine, which blows my mind. Um, they're, 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 they're real quick to, to, um, to take, you know, to, to say that it's them, it's them that's causing us to live longer. I'm going to explain to you why nobody is living longer. Okay. It seems like they are because look how many people are over a hundred. I'm going to explain to you by the end of this video and hopefully you'll understand why you're actually people across the world are dying younger and younger, although they're in their hundreds. Okay. So this will make sense. My theory is um, that the means by which we keep track of times, the main means, aside from like how it feels, you know, how time is passing, how it feels to you or whatever, the luminaries, the lights in the sky, the stars, the sun, the moon, and so on. That's how we have always kept track of time. That's how we know how much time has passed and what day it is and whatnot, right? I believe that those luminaries have sped up in their transit across the sky and that they will continue to speed up in their transit across the, sty the, across the sky. I also believe that those in the know have made preparations for this speeding up of the luminaries, which equates to the speeding up of time and other things contribute too. okay, like exponential uh, degradation or entropy. Okay. Those things help us to feel like time is speeding up as well. Um, uh, but let's get back to um, the time speeding up. I believe that those in the know, that they have encouraged the entire world to switch over to um, digital clocks and that they're basically updating their clocks and therefore your clocks um, to match their timekeeping standards. Time has changed across time, okay? Sometimes in large chunks. People don't know what time it is. They don't know what day it is. This is one of the reasons why the apocalypse cannot be predicted. Time changes. Time is not constant, how we perceive it here on earth, okay? So there's no possible way, there's there's no likely way, I'll say, or probable way, that anybody out there can can accurately calculate when the end of the world is going to come. The main thing that we're encouraged to do by, by wise men throughout history is to read the omens, is to look for and watch out for the signs, to be watchers of the times that we're in, which is why we're talking about omens. Now, if this is true, that the luminaries have sped up, and therefore one year today, decades and decades ago, would be more like... Um, to them, it would be like a half of a year or one year, decades and decades ago to us would be like a year and a half. Okay. Now, if that's true, that means that the 2012 Mayan calendar end date still applies because 2012 was not 2012. That's what that means. That means that we're further back than we ought to be. We have sped up the calendar. We have sped up the clocks. We have sped up the time cycle. And so Wherever 2012 actually is, you know, if, if, if the world is set to end on 2012, let's say that that's correct. Okay. Let's say the Mayans just had it. Boom. Um, that means it's still somewhere looming in the distance. Okay. 2012, the real 2012 has not come and gone. 